Hello friends, welcome to our series on STM ready to control programming. Today we are not working on any of the projects but we are going to do an important activity. When we go further there will be enough size of code, there will be number of versions we may do in one single project. Surely you people will be accessing all these code. So we are going to version control it and we will be uploading all the code into a cloud storage. I am going to use git and github.com for this purpose. Before we start our version controlling, uh, I have renamed all the projects by including their episode number for easier identification. For example, this blinking LED project was explained in episode 2. So I renamed that to 02 underscore blinking LED. So hope you guys have understood that. If you want your local projects to be stored in the GitHub repository, then you can follow the steps which I am describing here. So without wasting much time, let's dive. Firstly, we have to set up the Git environment. For that, we have to install Git. So type git in Google and click this uh, downloads link. Yeah, according to your platform, you can install git. Uh, for example, Windows users uh, click on this link. So you can go with the standalone installer here. So select the package 32 bit or 64 bit according to your machine. So you can download the package and you can uh, install that yourself. So after installing git, now right click in your uh, workspace folder and click uh, git bash here. Yeah, it will show up like this with your uh, folder path. So to start a git repository, we have to type like this git init. Suddenly we can see a hidden folder created inside our workspace folder. If you cannot see that, you might have hit uh, the hidden items. And uh, there is a new thing appeared on the CMD window also, master. That is a default branch name allocated to our git activities. So next I am creating a new text file here and naming it as .git ignore. So this file name is standard, so please follow the same name here. I am opening that file using my text editor. Then I am pasting these contents here. So don't worry, I will give a link in the description to this content. So next we can save this file. Actually purpose of this file is to avoid certain files while uploading the project into Git repository. Now we can start uploading the files into the Git repository. As the first step, type git add dot in the command window. So this will add all files except the ones defined in that git ignore file. Okay, now we can create a version of our file system. So for that just type git commit hyphen m. Then under a double quote you have to specify a version description. So for example I am writing here added projects to repo. Then press enter. Now all these files have been uploaded to the git repo. So we have a git repository locally in our machine. But you people will not have access to these files in my local machine because it is not been uploaded to internet, right? So for that, we have to upload all these files into a cloud storage. GitHub.com can provide this service, but there are other several cloud hosting services like Bitbucket, GitLab, Microsoft Azure, etc. Uh, anyway, we can start creating a GitHub account here. So first go to GitHub.com, then click on sign up. Then we have to type the email here. This email will be associating with our github account. Then a password should be provided. Then a username. Since I have already account registered for uh, vdevelop, I am using another uh, name here. For the next question, we can type uh, n here or no. I don't want to fill up my inbox. <laughs> then they are checking if you are a bot. So we can answer their person. Now by clicking on create account, they will uh, send a verification code to our email. So I am filling the code here. Again, some more questions. Uh, how many team members? So oh, it is just me. We can enter student here. Okay, click continue. Again, several questions. Better we can skip these steps by clicking here. So that's it. And now we have our GitHub account got created. Next task is creating a repository in this cloud storage. For that, uh, you can click here or click on the plus icon and click new repository. We can provide a repository name. We have to make our uh, repository public, then only you can access my projects and files. We can add a readme manually later. So for now click on create repository button down below. So we have finished creating a remote repository. So now there are no files here. So GitHub is showing us what we need to do next. Since we have to upload all the files in our local repo into this remote repo. Actually push is the best word for upload in Git terminology. So we have to go with this option. We can execute these lines one by one. This command will store our remote repo address in our local machine. Uh oh, we got a problem. 
This is uh, coming since we copy and paste the command line into the git bash window. If we type this directly in this window, this will work smoothly. Yeah, now it works. Actually by copying and pasting, it is pasting some additional characters other than our command text. Those are creating this problem. We can verify if the address is correctly added in our local machine. For that, uh, type git remote hyphen v. Yes, you can see that here. Actually, origin is the keyword used to store the remote path. Next, we have to push our code to remote directory. So on the GitHub website, they have provided this command, but there is a small difference. They asked us to push the code into the main branch, but we have master branch in our local machine. So instead of main, we have to use master in the command text. Uh, we can type this command in our command window. Oh, by typing also, we are getting this problem. We can try it out again. Yeah, now it works. Actually, what is happening here? Okay, uh, now it is asking for username. Uh, we can type that here and uh, password too. Yeah, but this is saying password is invalid. GitHub offers a personal access token for pushing our code to repo. We can set that up here. So go back to github.com, click on the profile icon, then click on settings. Under developer settings, click on uh, personal access tokens and click generate new token. Now we can type the GitHub password and type some description to our token and uh, I am putting no expression here but actually it's not recommended we have to put some expression date here then only we will update our token in intervals uh, that will increase the security now we have to select the permission for our token so you can select repo here that would be sufficient for our activities so if you want to know about all these keywords you can check out this link okay uh, you can see all these things here okay I'm going back now click on generate token so we have created our token we can copy this and paste in a secure place because Git is not showing you this token again if you close this window. And second, if somebody else got access to this token, can alter your GitHub purpose. Now come back to our local machine. We have to set up the GitHub account in our machine. So type these lines. In double quotes, we can enter the GitHub username. Oh, again. Yeah, I'm trying out another way. Let's open Git bash in administrator mode. So we have to go to our workspace location. Oh, yeah, we have to give forward slash. Again, we are repeating our steps. Hey, this works. Yeah, this is something really odd. Anyway, next time onwards, we are going to use source tree where we don't need to type any more commands and it is quite user friendly. Now we can repeat the same command and instead of name, we have to type email. Yeah, this also works perfectly. Now we can push our project. So we can type this. Yeah, it is asking username. I am typing username here. Now for the password, we can paste the personal access token that we got from the GitHub website. So I am talking the token from here to paste it here. Press enter. That's it. We have successfully pushed all the projects into GitHub. So let's verify that. So go to GitHub website. Go to home. We can see our repo listed here. Click on that. Wow. You can see all the projects appeared here. Now we can add the readme file. So click here, this is the default name and extension for the readme file in the git repos. So we can add some content here. Now add a commit or version description. Click on commit new file. So we have created a readme file. So this will be rendered in this way. I will add more content to readme while we progress. Uh, now we got this readme in the remote repo, but not in local repo, right? Because we created the readme file in remote repo. So we need to pull that to our local repo also. So go to git bash window, then type git pull. Now you can see readme.md is added. So we can verify that in our local folder. Yes, it is visible here. So that's it for the day. Now onwards we will create all our projects by syncing with our GitHub repository. We can try and see more possibilities with Git in future sessions. We will learn Git by doing our projects. So stay tuned. Love you all.